when it comes to where we are now in relation to drug discovery and diagnostics, how far did we go, where we are now? And when it comes to data, do people really use data or is it sort of a hype word so that people can apply for grants or show that they collaborate or, yeah. Shall we start from that then, Bill? <laughs> okay. um, so from a student perspective, I think um, data is kind of thrown around but not really used. I think there's so many data sets in repositories and potentially even data sitting in your own lab that hasn't been utilized or analyzed properly. Um, and so there's a lot of scope still left to happen for PhDs to start out as data projects and to kind of define where they want to go with their research um, from the data that's already available, rather than just diving straight into the lab. Um, so I think that's kind of where we're at from a student point of view. Um, I would say that there's um, certainly both sides of, of the coin. So. As we saw in the earlier talks, there is great advances being done with big data and machine learning. Um, but as you just said, uh, it's true there's huge biobanks of data. A lot of the time that data for widespread access is heavily pre-processed, which limits how much of an analysis you can do or how much of deep learning you can do on it. So there's certainly scope to do a lot more so from a, a diagnostics perspective, again, um, we have to be a little selective of the data. Of course, there's a lot of data out there, but we need to be very careful of what we choose and how we apply it, uh, because everything we do has a clinical implication for the patient. So a lot of the new omics that we heard about today is probably a little bit too... Um, Distance for, distant for us at the moment to be able to use and um, apply in what we do. Uh, so yeah, I definitely echo Kath's comment about data sets are generated like in academia often for like one specific project by one PhD student and analyzed a little bit and then never looked at again far too often. But the, the challenge is, is like combining data from multiple sources and it just gets put in repositories that you can't then access. You can't, it's really hard to actually get base genomic data because of some of it for very good reason because of the patient confidentiality kind of questions um, that doesn't then lend itself to being analyzed in big ways unless you've got a big platform like Illumina have to help that. Sorry, um, the UK biobank data is actually being reanalyzed on Dragon because the tools are better. So some of that holds back um, mining the data that you have. Yeah, so, so 